Hello, thank you so much for clicking my video and in today's video i have four wigs they're brought to you by hair supply shop i'll be sure to leave the link below to this wig and also their direct store the wigs that i have today is by ultra this is their melted hairline synthetic lace front wig catalina the colors that i have is drf chocolate truffle dr2 cinnamon spice drf zgr and the color 613 I have reviewed this wig before in two other colors and I love this wig so much I had to get it again. I'll be sure to leave the video link below if you would like to see the video on these two colors. So this is what the inside of the wig looks like. You get a good amount of lace in the front, like about one inch of lace in the front. Two combs in the front, not too far from the temple. Another comb in a nape area with adjustable straps. They also come with a elastic band so you can have an extra secure fit. The inside of the cap is a stretch fit material and the lace is a bit gray on my skin. I'm going to try my best to tint it. And the texture is like a light, light yakky texture. The hairline on all four wigs that I have come pre-plucked and it comes with baby hairs. The parting is on the right side. I'm gonna go in with my Andis hot comb on a temperature number five and just use it to flatten the top of the parting space and the hairline. And to save some time, I just do the same routine with all of the other wigs. To me, the luster on the wigs is kind of high, so I'm gonna go in with my Kenra Dry Volume Shampoo and just spray this all over the wig. And then to get rid of that white ashy residue, you just take your comb and comb the product right in and it just helps dim down the shine. If you are a super beginner at wigs and you don't know how to cut your lace, I like to use like light little tiny scissors like eyebrow scissors and you could use any scissors you want even a razor and you just cut right along the hairline move the baby hairs back and just take your time and cut you could cut it straight or in a jagged motion whatever works for you the baby hairs that come on this wig is a little bit too long for my liking so i'm just taking my little scissors and cutting it down from now I had to buy another Maybelline Fit Me powder and I still got the same shade that I always use, which is 355. So if this is brand new, this is what it looks like. I just like to use powder to help tint the lace. And I just dab some on the brush and I wipe it underneath the lace. But not too much because it will come out on the other side and make it look really cakey and get on the roots of the hair. But because this lace is so gray, powder is just not going to work for me like it's just too light on me so i'm going in with foundation as well the foundation i'm using is this nars foundation and i'm just gonna take a little dot of that a little tiny bit is all you need nothing too heavy then i take my brush i smudge some of the product off on the paper towel and then i go in and lightly wipe it onto the lace underneath I hope you guys are doing well so the cap that we'll be wearing underneath is a brown nude cap the first color up is the drff chocolate truffle after putting on the wig the lace is lifting up on the side tabs but i'm going to spray that down and the lace is still a bit gray on my skin so i'm just going to take that leftover foundation that's on the brush and just use that and dab that on the hairline of the lace on top of the lace i'm going to go in with the olive oil super hold spray and I'm just going to spray down that right ear tab. I'm going to leave the left ear tab alone because this is a wig show and tell. And hold on, you guys. I almost blinded myself just now because the fan is on and I was spraying. But I'm good. 
I'm good. I'm getting back to it. So <laughs> I just spray one layer on top and I go in and blow dry it. If you do decide to use like spray to hold down your air tap, I recommend at least two to three layers so you have a good hold. And if you want, you could spray the whole hairline as well. Now I'm gonna go in and style my baby hairs and to style my baby hairs, I'm going in with the yellow got to be glue gel. Because this is a wig show and tell, I'm only styling the baby hairs that will be showing for this presentation. So if you want, you could always go in and spray the whole hairline yourself and style all of the hairline yourself. Right here is my end result on the chocolate truffle color and this color is gorgeous. I first seen this color on Beauty with Cat, and I was just like wow but this color was sold out for a while so I have been stalking it and I finally saw it on the Hair So Fly website and I was like hold on let me grab this because I got to try it. So the length of this wig on me I would say is about 20 to 22 inches my height is 5'6". The density on this wig compared to the other two colors that I tried before, like the color two, it's actually a lesser density than the other colors. I do wish it was a little bit more thick, but the density is not too thick, not too thin. It's on the medium side. It's really nice for every day. As for tangling, I did get a few snags here and there, but the brush took it right out. Shedding was super low on this wig. I only got like a little bit of strands. As for the coloring, I love the color, how they colored this wig, like it just looks like a professional did it. The lace do blends nicely with my skin, not too bad. And let's move on to the next color. Some of you may have been wondering if this wig can be a middle part. So I was like, let me take one of the colors and try to do a middle part. And this color is just so gorgeous. And the lace is looking nice on my forehead so far. So because this is a side part wig, if you do want to do a middle part, you know the lace is not going to lay that properly. So because that side is laying on top of my ear, I just went in and cut it. And if you want you could still spray the end by the air tabs just to keep it down just in case the wind blows because if the wind blows you don't want nobody to know you took a right side part wig and made it a middle part If you made it this far in this video, can I get a hallelujah? Yeah, I be jamming you guys to my gospel and everything. But so far, I'm liking how it's looking. I'm excited to see the end results. The parting is going to curve a little bit if you do do a middle part. But to me, the curve ain't too bad. It's not like it's a super C. So one way to help me figure out how I would like my baby hairs, sometimes before I put the gel, I just brush it into place to see how I would like it. And then after that, I just put the gel on top and just, it's like tracing the lines, if that makes sense. So you see how I first like brushed it into place, then put the gel. You could also do that too. And like I said, if you do rock this as a middle part, I recommend you spraying down the air tabs. I didn't spray it down because I'm doing a wig show and tell. So spray it down, people. Don't let that wind blow and embarrass yourself now. Here is my end results on the DR2 Cinnamon Spice color. And this color will always be a turn head color with Ultra. Like, this color is gorgeous. I love the color dimension that they have with the orange, the red. Love it, love it, love it, love it. So, if I did not mention before, which I think I didn't mention, these wigs are definitely big head friendly. The cap material definitely does stretch. If you have a small head, just tie the adjustable straps or crisscross the adjustable straps. So far, I'm liking the DR2 Cinnamon Spice color. It's 
a medium density not too thick not too thin and let's move on to the next color which i am very scared of but hopefully i can pull it off So when I looked up in my camera to see how I would look with this on, I was actually super impressed because this is one of the best gray synthetic wigs that I think I have ever tried. The quality feels really good. The quality actually feels like the color number two. So I noticed with the colors, like I feel like they use different hair fibers, but I like the fiber on this. Like it's like a yakky texture, but not too yakky, still soft. So I'm going in and I'm just spraying down the right side air tab, that's it. And I just go in with the blow dryer and blow dry till it's nice and dry. Now I'm going in and styling the baby hairs and I'll be right back. Wow, I actually like this color on me like it looks like I dyed some virgin hair and styled it it looks really really good I'm actually impressed the best gray synthetic wig I have ever tried a lot of you guys might be like eh, it looks like a costume wig but to me hey the best costume wig I have ever tried like gray wise if that makes sense I'm a little speechless so one thing I can say, this density is way thicker than the other four colors that I have, which I really, really like. The texture is also very different. It's like a light yakky texture, but still soft. I don't see any tracks in the back. Looking good, looking good. I like, I like. So let me know your thoughts on this color, you guys. Let's move on to the next color. Well, every time it comes down to blonde hair, 613 hair, I got a little nervous, but I just wanted to step out my comfort zone and see what it will be like. Again, I did do 613 in the past, so I hope this goes well. Wish me luck. And one good thing about the lace on this, it doesn't come off gray. The lace is actually darker than the other lace, which is crazy, but it's okay. It works. I'm gonna make it work. I'm gonna try to make it work. That's why my channel is here to help you make it work. So, so far, this is what it's looking like. And at first, I was not going to put any baby hairs, but I feel like it needs baby hairs. So I'm going to go in and add some baby hairs as well. results on a 613 color and that did okay it's not bad on me i don't think i look too horrible the lace is looking nice on me as well not bad not bad i only added powder to the parting space just to get it to pop a little bit because it was looking too dark and it looks nice usually when i add powder 613 here it come off a little orangey but it's working so 613 really ain't my to-go color this is just something i wanted to try to show you guys step out my comfort zone and show you guys that was curious about 613 because there is people out there that love 613 so why not display it for y'all so far it's looking good but i could say this is the thinnest wig out of all the colors i tried so far with the um other colors i do wish the density was a little thicker but it's still cute so to me the density is low on this but it's still nice for every day and to me it definitely looks like virgin hair 613 all the way down to the quality it still have a light yakky texture <laughs> 